child of God, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. This this day that the Lord has made, the Bible says we shall rejoice and be glad within it. Glory to God Almighty. I just have a quick word this evening, a very quick word. I'm not quite sure who the word is for, but I know that word is also for me because we are in the season of spiritual warfare. The devil is attacking on every end and every side. Why? Because we are focused on God. Why? Because we are we are determined to serve God no matter what, even if they kick us out of the houses, even if they kick us out of our job places if whatever it is that the enemy tried to do the bible says hold on the book of joshua i'm coming out of the book of joshua chapter one or in chapter two it uh moses most before moses died the mantle was given to joshua so i want to encourage your hearts this morning so that in whatever it is that you are doing in your life that you do not give up and you do not give in to the enemy because he is he is like a wolf lion wovering over the world war looking for people that he may devour but also the spirit of the living God is also wovering over his children and protecting us and saving us and guiding us and giving us everything that we need to fight in the realm of the spirit because this fight is not a physical fight I want you to hear me and hear me real good it is not a physical fight it is a spiritual warfare it is an attack the enemy will attack you when you least expect it especially when you're not a prayerful person he will attack you but the Bible says in the book of Joshua he told Joshua before Moses passed away the mantle from Moses was passed on to onto Joshua and he told and, and, and Joshua was told by God now you are getting ready to to lead the children of Israel. So who am I speaking to this morning? God is calling you to lead, to lead, to lead someone, to lead someone. And in leading, you cannot be a complainer. You cannot be someone that will complain. You cannot be, you got to be able to hear God. You got to be able to listen. You got to be able to, to reference and fear the name of Yeshua Amashiach. When God calls you to leadership, when he calls you to take over the mantle, when he calls you to carry on the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ the ministry is not for you it is not for your purpose it is for the uh, purpose of the children of the most high God because there are those in in, in diverse places that are there are those in, 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 in the wilderness that that God needs you to go in and then pick them up so he needs you to go in and pick them up pick them up and bring them into the the word of God into the the place of of, of, of light and take them out of the darkness so when he gives you the mantle. The mantle was not meant for you to, to, to go, go around bragging and, 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 and telling people, oh my God, I'm running this ministry and I'm running that ministry. No, 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 no. That's been boastful and it's been prideful. And God hates a prideful person. The mantle was given to Joshua because he had a humble spirit. Oh, somebody hear me this morning. Hear me this morning because it may just apply to what you are doing right now. And you're walking around with this kind of spirit on you that is so huge and so big thinking that you can do everything on your own you can't do it on your own you can't do it on your own the bible said apart from god we are nothing we are nothing we are nothing our dependency is god our lifeline is god our source is god our rock is god so everything that we do revolves around god yeshua amashia jesus christ of nazareth yes everything that we do this is why we prosper the bible say if we learn to seek the face of god and make it and 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 and, 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 and abide by all his commandments he said that he will make our life prosperous you're looking for your life to be prosperous obey God the Bible says let me slow down because this word is very short I didn't want it to be long God did not want it to be long at all he gave the mantle. I'm speaking this morning on behalf of God because there's someone that God has given you something and it seems like you are taking this thing as if to say it is you that got it. It is not you. God said I should tell you this thing that he has given you is not for you. It is for the edification of the body of Christ. Uh -huh. It is for the upbringing of the children of God. Uh -huh. It is for the building of the church of God. It is not for you and if you continue to carry this thing on your head as 
if to say you are God, he will make sure he demolish it. I'm telling you, I feel it in my spirit. The Lord wants you to take his work seriously, 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 seriously in this day and time. Yes, Lord. The mantle was laid on Joshua. And the Lord told Joshua, Joshua, be courageous and be strong. Do not fear. Who is this word for? Be courageous. Be strong in the Lord. It's for me. And do not fear them because they are a people of stiff mind. And, and they will try to intimidate you but, but, but because I am with you Because I'm leading you Because I'm guiding you Because I'm protecting you No weapon that they can do to you Can ever prosper in the name of Jesus Why? Because I am your rock So I need you to put your face of courage on I need you to be courageous So I need you to be strong I need you to trust in me and make me your confidence keeping God knowing that I will never fail you I will never leave you I will never forsake you you are my you are the man that I've called to lead the children after my son Moses is gone he's now gone the mantle drops on you who is the mantle dropping on this evening God has called you mm, Reiki baby so I sense in my spirit that God has called many of you, but because of your stiff neck, uh-huh, because of your hard, hard, hardness of heart, you think that the gospel is you. The gospel is Jesus Christ of Nazareth that died on the cross of Calvary. The gospel is the Lord God Almighty. We are only instruments that have been used by God to bring about healing in the lives of his people, to bring about things that he wants to uproot and, to, and, 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 and cancel the enemy work in their lives. We are only vessels. You are not God. Today the mantle falls. The mantle fell on me. The mantle fell on some other people that I'm speaking to. And God gave us the courage to carry a ministry that we don't even know people some of the people that's on this platform but because of your my obedience to God because of my love for God because he is my covenant keeping God he is my anchor and my rock I took the mantle and I said God it may look hard and it may look disappointing sometimes I may want to throw in the tower but I can't because I trust you and because my life is after souls I want to see souls delivered and set free and liberated in God and this is why the mantle fell on Joshua because Joshua had a heart of gold and he began to carry the children of Israel and he led them right into what the promised land this morning God is saying to somebody I want you to be courageous I want you to be strong I want you to trust in me and not take this thing for granted this thing is serious business we cannot play around with God's business we cannot play around with the Holy Ghost we cannot play around with anything it can be so we must be serious because there are souls and lives dependent on us people are waiting to hear my story people are waiting to hear your story why because your story is the one that god is going to birth through you in order for somebody else to get back up like mephibosheth uh-huh mephibosheth was crippled but that did not stop him it did not stop him so he was in lodabai the most worst place in the bible but it did not stop him uh-huh why because he has somebody that the mantle fall, fell on and that was David and David came and picked him up uh-huh. somebody's gonna pick you up make it go somebody's gonna pick you up to carry on this gospel it may not be here it may not be there it might be in another country it might be somewhere else but God is going to send somebody that to drop the mantle upon you are you ready are you ready are you consecrated unto God have you thought about all that God has done for you? Have you thought about what God has brought you to and what he's taken you to and where you came from, my God Almighty? 
big retrospect. He's an amazing father. He's a good God. Nobody can take away what God has for you. I always say this. Your blessing is idiosyncratic. It was still made just for you. Just for you. I don't care if they envy you. I don't care if they talk about you. I don't care if they're jealous of you. No matter what the enemy does to you. God has already chosen you and picked you. So no matter what to do, they can't stop it. They can't stop the hands of God from moving. Now God needs you to be focused and place Take that mind and begin to do his work fervently begin to pray to him fervently diligently we must be vigilant in this hour and in this time this is, this is last days the rapture is coming soon are you ready god says are you ready are you ready to meet the bridegroom are you ready to meet jesus are you ready to give your soul and your life to him one more thing for those of you that are in the things of god God has raised some of us, us that are young. Yes. But that does not mean you do not respect spiritual authority. It is vital. It, it is so vital and important that you respect the person that God has placed over your life. To speak into your life the meaning you get out of of that 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 place that God has placed you and you begin to think that you are the one now that is running stuff God will shut you down why because the mantle was placed over somebody else to speak into your life and you cannot disobey you cannot disrespect you cannot Go against the word of God, against the light of the individual that God has placed. They might be young, and many of us are young, the radicals that God has called call, call us up in this day and time to break chains, to deliver the dark, the folks that are in dark places into the marvelous, marvelous light, to, to, to get people out of cages that the enemy has placed in me, to break it, break it out in the name of Jesus, to pull down strongholds in the name of Jesus. Respect your overseer. Respect those that God has placed you under. And I'm going to tell you a quick testimony and I'm going to be out because the Lord wants us to hear this. During this time in Liberia, of us trying to find a church, there was a prayer. It was week before last and we was going through our visual of prayers. And I kept saying, does anybody know this woman named Mary? Mary, is anybody connected to Mary or Mary? Nobody said nothing. But the Holy Ghost had that woman in my spirit because there, there was something inside of that woman that was not right. And she wanted to live for Christ, but because of that thing that was inside of her, I needed to pray for her. The Lord was going to use me to pray for that woman and have her delivered and set free. But the enemy used her. Not only did she said we could have a church building, but she put us in a church building. We paid for the church building. Uh huh. Then she turned around and said, You guys have to pay more money. And, and I begin to say to myself, Lord God Almighty, this thing is not my doing. This is your doing, Lord. This is you. This is the provision is for you. Everything that we do with breath of life, it is has it has to do with you, Jesus. So whatever it is that this person is talking about, it, it, the, the, the devil is a liar. And you rebuked him. You re I began to rebuke in the name of Jesus. The words coming out of this woman's mouth. And I begin, I talked to this woman and I said, the Lord wants me to pray for you. You have refused prayer. And now you have placed us in the building and now you are telling us to get out of the building uh-huh this is what you're saying see you're not doing this to us you're not doing this to me because i'm a lover of christ you're not doing this to me but you are doing this to god's and his people you are doing this to god and the people that are hungry for god you are to and because you have done this wickedness you've even went to the extent of putting people in jail for no reason in west africa liberia because you have done this i leave you with god and let me tell you something folks don't play with your overseer when they speak. Don't play with your prophets when they speak. Don't play with people of God that are real and 
angle into, into things of God. Don't play with the mouth of a prophet because when he or she speaks, it is like fire coming out of their mouth because they are speaking on behalf of God. And this woman made us hurt. She did so many things to the children of God in Liberia that really broke my spirit and I got on my knees. See, we don't fight the, we don't fight the devil in the physical. We fight him on our knees. So I began to just speak in tongues because I didn't really know what even to say to God. I began to blow the trumpet in Zion. Uh -huh. And I told God, God, for what this woman has done to us, we commit her into your hands. Only you know how to deal with her. Only you know how to deal with her. She has brought shame unto, the, unto your people, oh God. But this is just the beginning. The lady ran away and she thought she was running away from us but she didn't know that you cannot run away from God when you hurt the children of God you can't run away from them uh-huh and let me tell you the end of the story all this just happened in a couple of weeks the lady Mary that did what she did to breath of life in Liberia was hit by a car and smashed into pieces my son told me you could not even see a body. God said her time was up. Touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. Who am I speaking to this morning, Joshua? God says be courageous, <laughs> be strong and be not afraid. Fear not, just walk into your destiny. Destiny is waiting for you. Destiny is waiting for you. Purpose is waiting for you. Your calling is waiting for you. God said be like Joshua and be strong and courageous and trust in Jesus Christ of Nazareth and everything that you have asked God for shall come to pass. Ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen of this platform, children of the Most High God, beloved, I must go now. I must go. I just had to drop this word. Why? Because it was very important and the Lord wanted me to do so. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus. I bless you with the power of the God. Listen, go on YouTube and subscribe. Go on YouTube and subscribe. Not for me, but for the gospel to be spread out and abroad. Go on YouTube and subscribe to Breath of Life, Prayer and Intercessory Ministry. We are all over the place now uh -huh. God is making himself known through birth of life so his name can be glorified not our name but for him to take the glory I love you guys so much this is pastor life I got to go I got to go I gotta go God bless you